You got credentials? Credentials? Yes. Do I have credentials? You want credentials? Five thousand years of suffering. How's that for a credential? <laughs> you want credentials? I will give you. All right, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, credentials, he asked. A YouTube contributor named DDR Ninjet has been kind enough to point me to a creationist video on YouTube that pretends to discuss transitional fossils. The video is titled, quote, Evolution versus Creation, Transitional Forms Number 3, unquote. That video was posted by a creationist named One Less Atheist. I have included the URL to that video in the description to this video up there somewhere. That video is an excellent example of what I mean by creationists being intolerably insulting to a person's intellect. In brief, that video says that scientists expect to find fossils that no scientist actually expects to find. And then the video insists the lack of such fossil finds disproves not merely evolutionary theory, but evolution itself. That is not merely insulting, it is deliberately deceptive, a knowing and premeditated lie on their part. To give an analogy, no astronomer, as far as I know, claims the moon is made out of green G's. Creationists come along and insist astronomers claim the moon is made out of green cheese, even though all of the evidence says otherwise. Therefore, the creationists argue, astronomy is a lie. Creationists use the same ploy when discussing transitional fossils. Creationists assert scientists expect to find fossils that no scientist actually expect to find. With this diagram, I hope to explain what scientists actually mean when they say a fossil is transitional. I have here six circles that represent fossils, labeled G through L. Fossil L is a species that went extinct without speciating. It is a dead end on the lineage shown. A transitional fossil is merely any fossil placed along a line of descent that falls between two other fossils. Since fossil L is the end of a lineage due to extinction, it is not considered or called a transitional fossil. Since fossil G starts the known series of fossils with no known fossils preceding it, it is not a transitional fossil. It is not called a transitional fossil. However, when a fossil is discovered that precedes it, call it fossil F, fossil G will then be said to be a transitional between F and H. It may be readily apparent that all fossils are therefore transitional fossils, except fossils of extinct species. One may not validly say, quote, this fossil is transitional, unquote. One may validly say, quote, this fossil is transitional between fossils X and Y, unquote. What creationists mean by a transitional fossil is nothing like what scientists mean by a transitional fossil. Creationists claim, scientists claim, a transitional fossil will have what they call, quote, partially formed parts, unquote, such as half an eye, or half a leg, or half a wing. That is not how evolution works. Therefore, that is not what evolutionary theory states. Therefore, that is not what is meant by a transitional fossil. While all extant birds are, in fact, descended from an extinct dinosaur, specifically a raptor, that does not mean scientists expect to find, as creationists would have people believe, a fossil between a raptor and a chicken, for example, made of parts from both species. That is not how evolution works. The conclusion is obvious. Creationists do not know, and I suspect often do not care, what scientists mean when scientists speak about transitional fossils. Unfortunately, that ignorance does not stop creationists from making false and absurd statements about transitional fossils.